So we've left our sweet little camp at Green Point, the free camp up on top of the hill. And we're now taking this road, which is called the Western Explorer Road. And it's right through the hills, more like a, it's not quite a full drive track, but we're definitely doing it with the caravan and it's, we're coping fine. We're aiming to head to um, a little free camp called Lake McIntosh um, to spend Australia Day weekend. Just beautiful. Some noodles for lunch and a cheese toasty. Is it young? And TikTok. Tilly loves cheese toasties. So amazed by you. So hold me tight. probably comparable to me to like the end of the Gib River Road so I definitely recommend if you want to do it to bring the caravan you've just got to take it slow and easy and now we've made it to a little town called Corinna and it's really cute it's got like little old buildings and what the old place was set up like um, like the butcher and the old tavern and that it's a really interesting little place to have a look at so but now we've got to go across on this barge over here Mark's just gone inside into the old tavern. So we're down here and we're just crossing over here, Pyman River, it's called, um, to get to the other side. And it's $30 to go on the barge. And I think you have to be a certain length. Alpin never ends, this being more than friends. Yeah. You know I'm here to stay. Every single day. Yeah. So it's got to be 10 meters from that wheel all the way back to that wheel. And you can see how ours is a little bit too short. Uh oh. Okay, well, so we're leaving again. What's happened? Uh, we were misinformed by Parks where to measure from, and I'm actually about a meter too long to fit on the barge. So you have to be nine, no more than nine, nine meters from front axle to rear axle. It's here. So we've just had to uh, take a different road. It's going to take about an extra two and a half. About no, an extra hour. About an extra hour. We had about an hour's drive anyway after the ferry. So hold me tight. Six hours later and we finally arrived. We thought we were going to get a camp on the lake, but there isn't any. So we've got this one. There's a fire. Still pretty beautiful. Wow, this is like out of the movies, isn't it? So gorgeous. Oh, and the sun is on my face. Just beautiful. What are you fishing for? 
Trying to catch a trout? Oh, I am. This <laughs> Good luck with that. Extra. Trout are hard to catch. Can't be any harder than barramundi. So we've just moved campsite because we were up on the gravel pit. And now, look at this view. What is it? Oh my god, I can see it! It's a rainbow! Oh! Try it, try it! Oh my god! You, you won't see it with it. It's a circle! It's a circle! Oh wow! Oh, you can! Through the glasses! Oh. How cool is that? Okay, let's... How good is this? It's so beautiful. People out there canoeing. What's that thing chasing that person's kayak? I have no idea. Oh my god, that is no, so it's, cool. It's a dog. Oh, that's a dog swimming behind the yeah, kayak. We went past earlier today and I was sitting like that. So we backed the caravan down here and pulled it in here. Um, it's a little free camp and it's so cute. There's a little area over there which we camped at the first night and um, that's still good. It's a little bit of a gravel pit but down here near the boat ramp you can actually pull up right near the water. It says no fires but there are little fire pits. We didn't have one because we're goody two shoes as you know. Um, but from here we've explored Cradle Mountain so we spent three days here and explored Cradle Mountain from here and you can have pets. Uh, there's no power, water or internet.